What's up, Rare and High School? I'm Sean Dorsey, and you're watching Rocket News. And I'm the Has the Heartthrob Juan Santos, and welcome to today's show. Any students who need the code to the RHS Community Service Google Classroom, please join with the code 6HFK6XZ. Attention all students and staff members, we have new Rocket Apparel variable available in our, in our school store available before, before and after school. We have news, breast cancer, and Rocket Legacy t-shirts for $15 in each, in each Rocket. Uh, black, gray, crewnecks, sweatshirts for $20 each. We have accept cash only. We also have snacks available after school as well. Come and get our new rocket gear and to wear around school and to different after school events too. Congratulations to the class of 2028 freshman officers. President Eileen Dennehy, Vice President Aiden Anderson, Secretary Samantha Evans, Treasurer Ashley DiCarlo. It's almost Halloween and boo grams are for sale again. Stop by the main lobby on your way to school to purchase a boo gram for those you care about. Choose a boo bat package or devious duck package to send it to a friend, significant other, or staff person. It will be delivered with candy and a personalized note from you during announcements on Halloween. If you missed that, check during your lunch periods or stop by Ms. Scott's room in C8 between classes to make sure you get your boo gram. Teachers and students, make sure to follow Rocket TV on YouTube. All of our Rocket TV shows and student work are accessible on that page. Now let's go see what's happening in the world with RNN. Good morning, Raritan. Here are your top stories for today. The leaders of the October 7th attack, Yahya Sinwar, also the leader of Palestinian terrorist group Hamas, was killed in a gun battle yesterday. Netanyahu, the leader of Israel, promises that the war will continue. He states that fighting will continue until Israeli hostages are released by the group. Canadian officials this week state that they believe Indian government agents are linked to a campaign of murder and extortion in the country, putting diplomatic relationships at a new low. That rift is now raising questions over the impact it could have on the deep trade and immigration ties between both countries. Bilateral trade is worth billions of dollars and Canada is home to nearly 1.7 million people of Indian origin. Now, let's go to Sports On Air. What's up, Raritan? I'm your host, Justin Kazer, as always, on Sports On The Air. Uh, Anthony Barone is on the IR, so we picked up Christian Torino. Hello. And our other co-host? John Jelinski. And let's get into it. Breaking news in the NFL. Amari Cooper gets traded to the Bills. What do you think about that, Christian? Honestly, Amari Cooper to the Bills should be a spark that's needed for this offense. Josh Allen's been looking for a receiver one. I think this will give them that receiver one they've been looking for. Also going to help out my fantasy team a lot. Thank you very much. But in bigger news, Devontae Adams comes back to Rodgers and has got traded to the Jets. I don't think this is going to be as like crazy as everyone thinks because their defense still sucks. Yeah. I mean, Devontae and Aaron, they were both great duo on the Packers, but this team didn't need a new receiver. They needed many other things than just a receiver on this team. This team is not looking too good right now. Uh, now on to the Giants versus Eagles. Uh, Saquon's return to MetLife. Bet a lot of fans are going to be screaming at Saquon, calling him a traitor and whatnot. Uh, I think the Giants are going to blow them out. No personal bias right there. Uh, Malik Neighbors is back. He's going to have a huge impact on the game. Yeah, I just don't know. Um, the Eagles just look really slow, and the Giants also look bad. So yeah. <laughs> I I'm really hoping it's going to be a Giants win, but anything can happen in that game. Up next, Super Bowl rematch, Chiefs versus 49ers. Um, Chiefs haven't really – Patrick Mahomes has not looked the same from – 
how he looked two years ago, you know. Uh, he's got six interceptions and six touchdowns through five weeks he's played. Doesn't look too hot, but their defense is playing incredible right now. Honestly, from this past Thursday night game that we just saw last night, um, the Broncos versus Saints. Broncos just dominated the Saints the whole game. Even though the Saints, they're really just, their team's all injured. They haven't won many games this year. They're on a five-game losing streak. There's really not much to talk about from this game. Uh, now on to the Mets game. Mets down 3-1. Very unfortunate. But Jose Cantina had one bad game. He's been playing really good the past two months pretty much. Uh, they're playing tonight. Uh, I think they're going to come back and win this series. Kazmer thinks otherwise, but... Uh, no, they're, they're terrible. You can't, win, you can't win baseball games when you literally walk everybody. He's not wrong. Uh, it, it's, it's really hard, you know. Uh, they've been averaging like seven runs a game that they played in, the, in this last four games. It's just looking bad. All right, so from Yankees Cle versus Cleveland last night, we got... They were down, it was 5-3 in the bottom of the ninth with two outs. And the Guardians, just, big Christmas, man. Big Bob, big Christmas. Don't forget the name. So that, that was, honestly, as a Yankees fan, that was just an awful game. Clay Holmes, he needs to figure it out. There's a reason he's not the closer anymore. He's just been awful. Anything you got for that, Casmer? I else mean, there? they blew it. I mean, it's two outs, bottom of the ninth. You got big Christmas up. I mean, the guy... Uh, it's one batter. You, that just can't happen. You can't let up a home run there. You just can't. And then at the end of the game, uh, it's spot on the 10th, and then David Fry comes up. David Fry? David Fry? I don't even Sucks. know who that is. He's awful. I don't even know who that is. And he gets a home run? Yankees. That just can't happen. Uh, thank you for having us on. Uh, cut to a commercial break of girls wrestling. Good morning, everyone. I'm Reagan Crawford, and I'm a part of the girls wrestling team at Raritan. Girls wrestling is the fastest growing sport in all the country, and we invite you to come and give it a try, and also learn some self-defense. And our wrestling team wants you. Yeah, here we go for the hundred time. Hand grenade pins in every line. Throw them up and let some shine. Going at them up in mind. Filthy mouth, no excuse. Find a new place to hang this noose. String me up from atop these roofs. Not a tight so I won't get loose. Truth is you can stop and stare. Run myself out and no one cares. Dug the trench out. Lay down there with a shovel up out of reach somewhere. Yeah, someone pour it in. Make it a dirt dance floor again. Say your prayers and stop it out when they bring that chorus in. I bleed it out. Dig it deeper just to throw it. We have an interest meeting scheduled in the South Lecture Hall on October 23rd, right after school. Come stop in and get some information. Thank you. I Girls soccer beat Freehold night. Borough 2 1 to advance to the semifinals of the Shore Conference Coaches Cup. The first. Oh, my fault. He's like, I can't even see, bro. All right, go ahead. You gotta wait for, you gotta, you gotta wait for, dude. You gotta wait for the point. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta wait Got for it. The okay, all right, my fault, my fault. All right. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. right. Girls soccer beat Freehold Borough two-one to advance to the semifinals of the Shore Conference Coaches Cup. The first goal was scored by Morgan Rafferty, assisted by Ashley Fogarty in the first half. In the second half, Freehold Borough tied it up. Freshman Karina Sarozzi scored the winning goal to advance the girls soccer to semifinals. The girls' overall season record now is 9-4. Division record is 5-0. Congratulations, girls. Tonight is homecoming. Come out to the football field at 6.30 tonight. Homecoming king and queen will be announced at halftime. It is also a football senior night. Congrats to all the seniors. That's all, folks. I'm Sean Dorsey, and thank you for watching. And I'm Juan Santos, and have a funky, freaky Friday.